What's up guys, Webso here, and today we have the 86th Street subway station on the 1 line, and today we're joined by Diamond Axe YT. So if you want to hey tell guys. him why you're here for today's video. So the reason I'm here, not only do I just want to join this video in general, it is because uh, I am not going to be uploading till uh, around Christmas, and there's a reason for that. The reason being is uh this computer can't really record anything anymore so um i'm hoping to get a, a new pc by christmas so yeah um and it'll be able to record stuff at the very least because this thing can't do any of that right now so yeah that's right. why i won't be able to do something so and i'm just gonna explain why we're at 86 Street on the one so I decided to map out my map. The uh, of course I I did get the idea to do that from uh, I think it's Jmixel. I don't know if there's numbers in his name, but uh, I'd heard him mentioning something about maps in his video, and I thought, yeah, why not? I'll give him a map. And you know, it's around episode 50, 51 now. But yeah, we missed 50 for this. Or, no, I think this is 52. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking why not give you guys a progress update to see where we are. So, the map should display on screen right now. And you're going to notice something about the map. And this is something that I've been well aware of for a while now, but uh, mainly uh, became a uh, thing of focus once I actually mapped it out. So you can see that there's a separation, and it's kind of like we have two subway systems. I want to connect the stops in between those two sections so that we have a unified system, and so that you can actually, uh, or so I can actually ride through them. And yeah, so my uh, short-term goal is to connect the one, two, and three, then connect the BDFM, then the NQRW or whichever of those two come first and uh, have them, you know, unified, connected. And um, don't worry about the uh, D in the Bronx. I did start working on Bedford Park Boulevard. I might try to get that done before I do 79th Street. And yeah, so entry to the one downtown. Get your mine cards here. We're starting with this entrance because it's kind of separated. You can see out there. We still have it at dusk, but uh, it is what it is. So we'll head down here to the entrance area. There's no minecart machine because it's up there at the surface. There's a booth, although there's usually never someone in here, but it's here. So entry to the one downtown. Here is the platform. We'll start with this side first. Exit sign there. Got these I beams, and you know the beams change here, so I'm gonna point that out. That's the whole reason I'm actually pointing out what type of beams these are, because they're gonna switch up on you a little later. So 86th Street, you can see down the tunnel there. You can't see it on this render distance, but I did build part of the abandoned 91st Street subway station, which I have seen in the tunnel multiple times. So I decided to throw that in. If I uh, go onto the middle tracks, so you don't see it where it dips yet. So yeah, let's head over here. Now as for the accuracy level of the station, I think it's very accurate. I'm going to give the station build itself in Minecraft an 8 out of 10 accuracy rating. Because of uh, one thing that I didn't do perfectly, but you wouldn't even notice if I didn't point it out. So, downtown South Ferry 1 to South Ferry, all times, Diamond Axe did go ahead and set up the sign for us, so thank you Diamond Axe. Exit here, there's another view of the turnstiles, you know, I'm thinking of going in F1, see it gets rid of my hand. So let me know what you guys think, yeah I'm gonna try that after this video, I'm gonna go in F1. So, 86th Street, sign up there, so you got the mosaic, you have a bench here. Head down the platform, and the beams, or the pillars, change to the round style. I think I pulled this one off better than past attempts. With the signage, you can kind of read it better, you know. Before, they'd kind of be smaller, but I got this one to be bigger looking with the 86. So you should be able to read that better than past ones. From afar, it actually looks like a perfect 86. But here you have an exit, 
gonna go out there in a few seconds, but first we're gonna go to this part. Got a mosaic here from 86th Street. And I did just pull this one from the Central Park West 86th Street and modified it a bit because the color is the same on the interior, but it has the outer rim that's brown. So I did pull that from a different station that was already built because there's no point rebuilding if we already have the thing set up. Then there's just this end area and the tunnel is actually extended out past the station, which is uh, kind of unusual for my tours. You know, one side will usually have a wall, but I did already extend the tunnel out. You can see the express tracks are gravel. If you've ever been here in real life, you'll know that they're extremely loud. So despite the two and three not passing this that fast, I did go ahead and put the very fast bypassing sound for this because it's a ladder than the normal speed one. And here is the exits. So 86th Street and Broadway. Got your Metro card machine here. Booth here. Another one here. There's a final view of this side. The sign says entry one downtown. Of course, one train doesn't go to Brooklyn. Although the first time I put that sign, I did make the mistake of putting downtown in Brooklyn. Got a, a bit of a slight incline up to these stairs. Can exit out here. And here is your main entrances at 86th Street. This is actually a square in real life, so I did not get lazy here. This is actually supposed to be a square. Got the signs here that say 86th Street 1 downtown. Crossover, I'll show you this. Then we're going to go to the uptown side, which has announcements. Do remember, guys, Diamond Axe will be doing a downtown full ride with manual announcements, so there are no automated announcements on the downtown side. So now we can head over to the uptown, the Bronx side, and cross Broadway, which is huge, similar to Park Avenue, but up the west side. There's these vents here. Probably no sunlight coming down. If I actually go ahead and set it to day, then when we're down there, you're going to see more sunlight. But yeah, Broadway has these vents, and they're very often, they're like every block. And when you're on the 1, 2, and 3 in Minecraft, you're going to see these vents having sunlight pouring through them during the full ride. 86th Street, 1, uptown the Bronx. As you can see, you can get a Minecraft there. Here's the booth. Entry to the 1, uptown the Bronx. Now this is the only slightly inaccurate entrance. It's actually supposed to incline a little bit here and then go out. But... I had already uh, built it like this, and it's not that big a deal, guys. It's just like one, two steps up, that's it. So we head back here, but this hallway does exist. So we head back here, entry to the one up town of the Bronx. This side's pretty much the same, except there's no exit at 87th Street. You can see the platform ends here. There you go, you can see down the tunnel. We've got, of course, the sunlight. Over there, you can kind of see in the tracks, it looks a little bit bluer. That is probably where the sunlight's coming through. Yep, right there. And you can head out up here, and we'll show you guys the announcements, and then we'll wrap it up. There's a dumpster style thing right here. Another route sign placed by Diamond Axe, Uptown 1 to Van Cortland Park, 242nd Street, the Bronx, all times. Exit on other end of platform because unlike the other side there's no exit here and here is the announcement this is a Bronx bound one train the next stop is 96th Street yeah not too interesting of an announcement there because you know you already hear 96th Street when you take the two so nothing special with that one. I will show you guys the entry announcement because it is a bit more interesting. You don't usually hear the 86th Street announcement unless the 2 goes local, which happens during construction, which is located right here at the end. Yep. This is 86th Street. Transfer to the M86 Select Bus Service. So yeah. That was that one, and now let's end out the tour. Also, there's a benches right here. So, 
As mentioned previously, I will probably be doing at Bedford Park Boulevard sometime soon. Um, also, I started 57th Street on the F line. I've done two of the exits already. So if there's a rainy day, I'm going to save that one for a rainy day where, you know, um, a station's taken too long and um, I need something that day because it's just been too long. And that's probably when I'll upload 57th Street for the F. But I need to have that done soon enough because when I get to 6th Avenue on the D line itself, I need 57th Street for the junction at Rockefeller Center. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Diamond Axe, have anything you want to add? Uh, I'm going to sneak in a little self-promo here. I, uh, I just recently went up to Boston and I uploaded a vlog of uh, Exploriant kind of, so uh, if you can, that'd be, it'd be great if you just watch that because it's a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, thanks. Alright, so go check out his vlog and subscribe if you're new, like the video and share, leave a comment. Even if it's hate, because you will help us out in the algorithm. And I'll see you guys later. Haha. <laughs> Peace. Yes.